So I'm probably the last beauty guru on YouTube. If you can call me beauty guru, let's be real. I'm the last person on YouTube uh, to make their 2012 beauty favorites video, but that's fine. I'm gonna start with my hair and then move from like the bottom of my face out to the makeup parts of my face, to the part that you see. The shampoo that I tend to like the most is this Suave Rosemary and Mint Shampoo. It's really cheap, really takes any of the oil or grease out of your hair, so sometimes if I can't shower every single day, it's okay to skip a day or so if I use this. It's bubbling because it's still wet because I just got it out of my shower, good. On the off chance, I do put product in my hair, which is occasionally, um, whenever it starts to feel dry, that happens a bit in the winter. I use the Hairdresser's Oil by Bumble and Bumble. Basically, it's invisible oil for your hair. It's not as heavy as uh, macadamia and it just kind of puts life into your hair. It smells really good and it's really, really soft. Next would be skincare things. I like to keep it really, really simple with my skin. Uh, my skin reacts to quite a bit. It's also very, very dry. Um, so I'm afraid to use too many products. I've switched up my cleanser pretty regularly throughout the year, um, but the thing I always tend to come back to is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. Again, it's a really cheap product, but I know it works, and I know that whenever I just feel like there's dry skin on my face, or if ever I've had acne that's healing, anything like that, this is really good to kind of just like slough off all the grossness. Um, so I always have one of these with me. I don't use it every day like I used to because I have found that that dries out my skin more, but using it three times a week or so is, is perfect for me. As for moisturizer, I've used so many this year and I finally, towards the end of the year, found the one that does not break me out at all. It doesn't irritate me with smells, it doesn't dry, it's just, it's really, really great, and it's pretty cheap. It's um, the Simple Moisturizer, it's the Replenishing Rich one, um, not the basic one. This one, just, it's been perfect for dry skin and for winter. Um, it doesn't have a fragrance, it it, it really, <laughs> it's, it's simple. It's a good fallback to have, so if you want to switch up your moisturizer, that's fine. But having this in your cabinet to come back to, I, have, I think everybody should have a moisturizer, a cleanser to come back to, no matter what else they're going to try. Moving on to foundation, my favorite has actually been NARS Sheer Glow. Um, it's just been perfect. It's the perfect amount of coverage and it's the perfect texture. It keeps my skin feeling like there's still some life to it throughout the day. And I just think it's a really nice finish. Um, it doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. And that's kind of been important for me lately. Uh, I've been going really, really natural with everything, and so this has just been beautiful. Concealers, I actually pulled two because I use them for two different things. Um, to highlight kind of on my face, under eye circles, um, anything like that, down the bridge of my nose. So anywhere that I want to look a little bit brighter and less dull, I use the Maybelline Fit Concealer, which I know that I've been using literally, I think, since sophomore year of high school. This is my fallback. I love it. Um, I just think it's a beautiful product and it's really cheap and it is not a problem in any way. Shape or, just wave it. This is, this is professional beauty vlogging right here. The other concealer is the Sonia Kashuk Quad. You can see mine's absolutely disgusting. This is I think the third one I've gone through this year. That concealer itself is the best for spot concealing I've ever tried. And I've tried like the Bobbi Brown ones, I've tried the Erase Paste by Benefit, I've tried all the MAC, Studio Fix, Studio Finish, and I keep coming back to that one. So that says pretty good things about it. For bronzer, a lot of you will probably be shocked to know, I've actually gone um, from the Hoola Benefit bronzer, which I still love, but mine cracked, and I had um, a sample of NARS Laguna, so I started trying this and I just, I'm actually in love with this bronzer. It is the perfect skin tone and people have said that for years and I never believed them and now I do. It really is special. My favorite blush of the year and hands down, I think I've worn this blush every single day since I got it. It is wonderful and I'm not running out at all. It's the Tarte Flush uh, Cheek Stain. I just think it's beautiful. It twists up like this. This is a mini one. Um, but basically, yeah, it, it, you just rub your finger on, or you can go on to your face, but that's fine. And it goes on like that. It's just the most natural blush color. I just think that it's perfect for not having to use too much product and staying on all day, because blush goes off my face just within minutes. As for eyebrows, I'm so excited. I finally found the perfect product. It is um, the Mystery Eyeshadow by MAC, and it just goes on so much better than anything I've ever tried for my eyebrows. Um, if you don't know, whenever I was a baby, I got not thrown into a wall. There was a mishap with the carriage, um, and my eyebrow splits right here, so I have to fill it in there. That's also why I keep my bangs there, but this 
is the best brow powder. It's actually an eyeshadow, but it's the best brow powder I've ever used. Um, and by far, it, it matches my hair perfectly. This one is really dark, but the tone in it is still warm. As for eye base, um, Vinted Selection, the Paint Bot by MAC, Pink Bot, Paint Pot by MAC, um, came out with their collections forever ago, but I've used it, I think, every single day this year as a base. Um, it's just a shimmery champagne pink, and it is not a problem. It just kind of looks like my skin. It keeps all my eyeshadows on all day. And sometimes, most of the time actually, I just wear this on its own and I don't even put eyeshadow over it because I'm lazy. On the off chance I do wear eyeliner, um, generally I'll be wearing an NYC waterproof liner. I wear the brown one more than I wear this black one, but my brown one finally fizzled out on me today. Uh, so it's, it's where all good eyeliners go in the trash can. Uh, but I can show you this one. It is the perfect liner and it is not expensive at all. It doesn't smudge just at all throughout the day. Um, but it has the pigment of like a MAC liner would. So this is my favorite of the year. Finally, for eyeshadows, I didn't want to pull just one or two because I never have like a daily look that I wear every day. Um, but this palette, this Storm palette by Sleek, has kind of every color that I've been wearing this year. So I think everybody needs a good palette which has a few colors but mostly neutrals that they can mess around with. And for me, that is the Storm palette by Sleek, which is actually a gift to me from my friend Kaylee last Christmas, not this Christmas. Oh, I guess I should also say a mascara. Um, I use Lash Blast Volume. I'm not in love with it, but I don't see the point in buying an expensive mascara because none of them have ever done anything different for my lashes. Um, so this would be my favorite of the year, but I'm not, I'm not attached to it. I could easily switch up my mascara and I wouldn't feel any differently. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me uh, some of the standout products of 2012 for you um, in the comments because I am kind of, I've been using all of my makeup up and not buying any, so I'll probably go buy some more soon and I'd like to know what I should check out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.